Christ will be disgraced today. I want to let you know you must win this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever made you moody, sorrowful, depressed, that thing will leave you by force today. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is my new dawn era. Congratulations. Put those hands together for the Lord. Operation back to sender. That thing that didn't want you to dance, we are sending it back to the sender. I'll be very quick and very fast so that we can have enough time to pray. I don't know if the studio man is ready. Psalm 7 and verse 15. If you are not ready, let me read it. He made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made. Whoever made a pit for you tonight will fall into it. Go back to verse 16. His mischief shall return upon his own head. His violent dealing shall come down upon his own path. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever is cooking mischief and arrows against you, it is going back against them. Psalm 35, verse 7 and verse 8. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Now look at verse 8. Let destruction come upon him at unaware. You better say amen. amen. And let his net that he has hid catch himself. Amen. Into their very destruction, let him fall. Amen. Whoever is digging a pit for you will enter that pit by fire. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 4. Hear, O our God, for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Amen. You better say amen. Chapter 13 and verse 2. Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that it should cause them, how be it our God turned their cause into a blessing. Whoever has prepared a cause for you, their cause will backfire. Their invocation against you will backfire. We'll read the next one and we'll continue from there. Job 33, verse 18 and verse 28. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Now look at verse 28. He will deliver his soul from going into the pit. Have you seen all the scripture we have mentioned are talking about pit, 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 pit? And his life shall see his light. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. Now go to Esther chapter 7 and verse 10. Esther chapter 7 and verse 10. So they hanged Haman in the gallows, not one, which means he set plenty trap that he has prepared for Mordecai. Amen. Then was the king's wrath pacified. Whoever has prepared a wrath for you, God will not rest until they enter that wrath. 
If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Esther chapter 8 and verse 7. Then the king of Israel said unto Esther the queen and to Mordecai the Jew, Behold, I have given Esther the house of Haman. And him they have hanged upon the gallow because he laid his hand on the Jew. Anyone that has been touching you, sponsoring arrows against you today, God will touch them. Amen. Esther chapter 9 and verse 25. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. And that he and his sons should be hung in the gallows. Amen. Whoever has prepared wickedness for you, today I stand on this altar, they are returning back upon the head of the senders. We are taking the last scripture, Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall arise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Who said it? Who said it? Now, I want you to understand, we live in a wicked world. Apostle Peter said, the whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness. And if your destiny must be accomplished, you must not play gentle. Jesus said, since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it, it by force. Faith is not a gentle force. Faith is a violent force. Taking the shield of faith, whereby you shall be able to quench all, not some, all the fiery darts of the wicked. I want to let you know on a daily basis, there is a contention against the plan of God for your life. No wonder scripture say, arrows shall fly by day. Psalm 91, please. From verse 5, studio. Psalm 91 from verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Say a good amen. amen. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Amen. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Amen. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Amen. Verse 7 now. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You better say good amen. amen. Now hear me. If you don't declare their reward, God has nothing to confirm as their reward.
In the realm of the spirit, there is no coincidence. Neither is there any accident. Everything is cleverly programmed. Cleverly, neatly programmed. Arrows are manipulated, enchanted. But scripture says, no weapon formed. They are formed, but you must not allow them to prosper. And the only way you must not allow them to prosper is to make sure you send it back. The Holy Ghost will always lift up a standard. Why? Because you are sending it back. When the enemy shall come, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. The standard he's lifting for you is the word you are declaring. So if you declare nothing, God has nothing to confirm. Causes are programmed. Battles are programmed. Stagnation is programmed. Confusion is programmed. Disfavor is programmed. Rejection is programmed. Demotion also is programmed. Financial hardship can be programmed. Careless spending is programmed. Disappointment is programmed. So a lot of programming are just taking place. And if you are not a praying man, if you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, if you don't know how to use scripture to quench what the enemy has programmed, you become a victim. You are now dancing the drum beats of your enemies. When forces are manipulating issues against your life, hear me? The target is to make sure that God's good plan for you never see a daylight. Never see a daylight. But you don't watch it. You have to react. If God's good plan for you must come to pass, you must be on the speaking path. You must keep declaring. You must keep enforcing. He said, we contend with him that contended with thee and I will save thy children. For a great door and effectual is open unto us, but there are many adversaries. Don't think the enemy will just fold his hand like this and be watching you and everything will be working well. It's a lie. He can't be watching. He will fight it. So you don't sit down and wait and say, God will do it. God will do it as you are declaring it. Not as you are keeping quiet. I felt so bad, was it on Monday or Tuesday? A professor just went to his village just to take care of uh, the, just to put finishing touch on the house that he has built. As he came back, as he came back, they say it was tiredness, exhaustion, this is that. They just took him to Gilead Medical Center. They just uh, uh, massaged him a little. He was revived. The next thing, they just gave him sleeping tablets and the man went from there. Just went like that. And you tell me it's normal. God punish the devil. So, hear me? It's not only the devil that knows how to program. You are also an, an ordained programmer. If they program, you program them. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? That's why scripture says no enchantment. There is no enchantment against Judah. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Check all the scriptures we read. He has prepared mischief. Let him fall into it. Meaning, you have programmed me, I reprogram it for you. Anyone programming evil for you this month, their evil program will backfire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. I want you to know something. David was to go for war, but he was programmed. They programmed Uriah's wife. That was a clever programming. And before you know what's happening, he started seeing, watching home video. 
free home video that turned his head and before you know what's happening, he fell into evil. Samson was not destined for error. His destiny was not designed to be crashed. There was no place written in scripture where it was written that uh, after a while he will fall for Delilah. It was not written. It was a programming. Some of the errors some people fall into, they don't even see it by mistake through dream. Am I saying the truth? Something was not programmed for such evil. It was a clever agenda of hell to make sure that he does not go far, that his exploit be punctured. And that was how it was arranged. And funny enough, you know, when forces are after you, they block your ears from hearing every cancer. Don't tell me uh, uh, Samson was, nobody talked to him. They must have talked to him. Say, Do you know who you are talking to? The anointed of the Lord. If I call fire for you here now, you are finished. <laughs> the anointed of the Lord. He ignored cancer. And scripture says, He that is often reproved, and hardeneth his neck. He said, it shall suddenly be destroyed without remedy. It was a clever programming to make sure that his ears are blocked. And it was just going. It was just going. Clever programming. When someone has been programmed for destruction, he defies every cancer. He ignores every cancer. That thing will go happen tomorrow. Make it happen today. <laughs> it's already programmed. It's already going. Before you know what's happening, bah. That's exactly what happened. So how do you counter this programming? Knowing fully well that something is about to happen. Something good is about to happen for you. What eyes have not seen. What ears have not heard shall be the order of the day in my life. You think the enemy is excited that you are about to enter new realms of breakthrough, new realms of favor, new realms of progress, and he will just be quiet and be watching it? No, you must fight your way through. You must fight your way through. So for this prophecy to come to pass, <laughs> just like Nehemiah, you are building with one hand, fighting with the other hand. If this prophecy must see daylight, you must not play soft. Tell your neighbor, you must not play soft. Bishop Abiyo said something the other day that uh, the devil you are dealing with has 2,000 years experience in deception. Do you understand what I mean? He has over 2,000 years experience in manipulation. I hope you know now that manipulation has gone high tech. Manipulation now has gone high tech. You can be in Lafayette and somebody is programming you from Abba. Yes. Do you know that accident is programmed? I, I saw on uh, Facebook uh, a young boy that used to wed on Saturday. He had a little uh, exchange with a uh, police. A policeman job pushed him and trailer crushed him. That's a clever programming. What are you talking about? Has the police behaved that way before? When you are programmed, they can use anybody to actualize it. And it was crushed. Even though they burn the two he loves for uh, vehicle, you can't bring him back. He's gone, he's gone. That's a clever programming. Somebody that is no way tomorrow. So if you keep your
your mouth shut. Now you do yourself. So keep your mouth shut. Now you do yourself. A brother in this ministry was praying vengeance prayer with this operation back to sender. The person that was programming him was in his office. Was in his office. After the prayer, he went to office the following day. He was now anointing the place, reinvoking the prayer again. The man turned to lizard. How many of you are aware of brother's testimony? The man turned to lizard and was crawling. They killed the lizard and the man died that same day. Whoever has been doing you, today their arrow will backfire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. One thing I need to tell you tonight, the enemy will never like to get back the arrow they sponsored against you. They will never like to get back the arrow they fired against you. When an arrow is fired, just like he heard daily, three things happen. If the person is not undercover, the arrow will enter. Secondly, if it does not enter, it will bounce back. And thirdly, when an arrow is fired, it can miss the person and go and hit another person. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse, um, let me see. Let me be sure. But whoever has prepared an arrow for you, calling your name before an altar, today something will happen to them. Yeah. Proverbs 11 and verse 8. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. God will deliver you from calamity. God will deliver you from destruction. And whoever prepared evil for you, it will fall into that evil. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That's why you must take this prayer with all seriousness. And make sure that the plan of the enemy against your life is disappointed perpetually. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The essence of this prayer is to stop the oppression of the wicked. Make sure that none of their arrangements. Scripture says, surely they shall gather, but not by me. Anyone that gather against you, shall fall for your sake. Anyone that planned for you will fall for your sake. If you are saying amen, say better amen. I remember the testimony. I, I love that testimony. Somebody came and told Apostle Suleiman that, um, that they are planning for you. He, he replied, he said, nobody you shall be plan. Me too, they plan for you. Me too, they do what? for you. So every morning, you will take these two scriptures. Studio, if you care to open, you can open now. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9. We are going to read the two. Associate yourself, O ye people, and you shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all your far countries. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. God is not a stammerer. Look at verse 10. Take cancer together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, it shall not stand. 
for God is with us. So every waking morning, everyone involved in planning for me, oh Lord, I prophesy, let them be broken in pieces. Simple. It doesn't need to know their name. The angels know the address. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me for it, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. Five of them died like chicken, one after the other. Whoever is involved in planning for you, I prophesy they shall be broken in pieces. The evil they intend for you will backfire against their own head. Rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. We are going to pray. This is just part one. We we'll have part two. Every month we'll be having one. Studio prayer one. Any arrow programmed to abort my new dawn testimony by the blood of Jesus. I command the programming to scatter. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lekuria katandede. Any arrow programmed to abort my new dawn testimony. Programmed to abort my new dawn breakthrough. By the blood of Jesus, I command the programming to scatter. Whoever is involved in the programming, let them scatter. In the name of Jesus, every programming of the wicked, programming of witchcraft, programming of occultic men, occultic women, against my new dawn, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I command their programming to scatter. Lift up your voice and pray. Let their programming backfire. Retonandra de Chatoliare. Rezatela tela crupetola. Menzegele rusha tota. Impetele ruta tena ronde liada. Likato zekete predi. Jeklosis o recotetola. Resunia preclacete. Recatele aba. Regodo, legodo, regodo, legodo, regodo, legodo. Rezo sacle kete rikata. Any arrow programmed to abort my new dawn testimony. By the blood of Jesus, I command the programming to scatter. I command the programming to backfire. Ile totali ane shapa. Le zona dreko telota. Shikotoko prekete ila dodo rekoteli ata. Lego do brogo do zodo do. Let their programming scatter. Ela baro do do do. Take us together and be broken in pieces. Wherever, whoever is involved. In taking cancer against my new dawn order of testimony by the vengeance of the blood, I prophesy against them. Let them be broken in pieces in the name of Jesus. In la bayaga da raga da ga yaga da ga raga da ya. In logo do breka tete rete. Whoever is involved is assigned to abort my new dawn order of testimony. Vengeance of the blood locates them and scatter them. In the name of Jesus. La Coterianga Galeta. Jecote Pradia. La Garagada Gayaga Dagada Gadagada. Le Grotta Brecotelota. Jesus Ilaga Ragadaga Dagate.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I remember something that happened in Refid last year. We finished a prayer on a, on a Friday. A young man is to wed on a Saturday. Before we finished the prayer, I just saw somebody they carried. They were standing in front of my office and that's why uh, to me it's an embarrassment. At first I was angry. I said, why didn't they join the prayer? They say, sir, this man is wedding tomorrow. He has run mad. Big error. The, the, the lady he was to marry, <laughs> she was vibrating. Sir, the wedding is tomorrow. Something must take place. I just carried the blood. I said, Lord, this is the back to send that blood. Wherever they fire this arrow, go back by fire! I poured the blood upon him. I poured it upon him. I said, every arrow of madness, marine insanity, programmed insanity, wherever they call your name and fire this arrow at you, by the blood, go back by fire! So after I pray for him, I say, you should go and lie down on the altar. They lie down, I carry my car, carry my family, take off. Before we know what's happening, he just slept. So they now woke him up. So he was not asking them, what happened? What happened? What happened? Whoever has programmed you at the verge of your breakthrough, their invocation will backfire. I said their invocation will backfire. Any man or woman that has targeted you to puncture your breakthrough, your open door, your change of story, let the vengeance of the blood smite there. And so we are going to take prayer too now. Every satanic conspiracy and plan fired against me by the blood of Jesus I command you to backfire by fire lift up your voice and begin to pray every satanic conspiracy every satanic plan fired against me against my wife against my children every satanic conspiracy Every satanic plan fired against me, against Living Faith Church Lafia, against every one member God has given me pastoral oversight by the blood of Jesus. I command you to backfire by fire. I command that plan to backfire by fire. I command that arrangement to backfire by fire. I command that conspiracy to backfire by fire. Whoever is involved in the plan, oh, vengeance of the blood, smite them. Whoever is involved in the plan, vengeance of the blood of Jesus, smite them. Every satanic conspiracy, every satanic plan, Fired against my life. Fired against the plan and purpose of God for my life. Fired against my wife. Fired against my children. By the blood of Jesus. Backfire. By the blood of Jesus. I command you to backfire by fire. Leandros. Enukratetele. Jodado. Reso sene krikato, jeluti aleta, rekateli andele rosha, ende belege rega dega 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 de, zona krikato lianga la da 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 da. Every satanic conspiracy, every satanic plan, fired against me in the spiritual, through any coven altar. 
through any witchcraft covered, through any marine altar, through any occultic means, by the blood of Jesus, I command you to backfire by fire. By the blood of Jesus, I command you to backfire by fire. Every satanic conspiracy and plan of captivity, plan of shame, plan of reproach, plan of stagnation, plan of demotion, fired against me. I command by the blood of Jesus. I command back fire by fire. Back fire by fire. Let their plan fail. Let their invocation back fire. Leon Dolorosh. Leon Dolorosh. Leon Dolorosh. Errob Legarosh. Jekosis on Agaragadesh. A lacreketolis of Zizose. Redi alo Jagole de Bregado. Jagalagaragadaga Yagadaga Bregado. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me read something that will steer you up in this last prayer. Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. Please, as I'm reading, say a good amen. amen. Let them be as chaff before the wind. Amen. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Amen. Let their ways be dark and slippery. Amen. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Amen. Now take note of verse 7. For without cause they have hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Look at verse 8 now. Let destruction come upon him on an way. And let his net that he has hid catch himself. Into their very destruction let him fall. Let him fall. So you are going to take prayer three now. Arrows of shame. Arrows of failure. Arrows of untimely death. Arrows of sickness. Arrows of miscarriage. Go back to your sender by fire. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Raduna Jekotarada. Arrows of shame. Arrows of failure. Arrows of untimely death. Arrows of sickness. Arrows of miscarriage. Go back to your sender by fire. Go back to your sender by fire. Go back to your sender. Likatonda Ladesh. Jeglorenda Layadaga. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Any arrow of shame, arrow of disgrace, arrow of demotion, arrow of failure, arrow of rejection, arrow of disappointment, arrow of lack, arrow of sickness, arrow of untimely death, fired against me, fired against my wife, 
fired against my children fired against my brothers and sisters fired against my family fired against any member of this church go back by fire go back to your sender by fire go back upon the head of your sender by fire locate the sender by fire Redanagle Rujagadede Elagadara Topeliata Jekotani and the Rekete. Whoever is sponsoring an evil arrow, whoever is sponsoring an arrow of demotion, an arrow of failure, an arrow of rejection, an arrow of sickness, arrow of untimely death against my family, against my wife, against my children fire go back to your sender by fire in the name of Jesus go back to your sender by fire in Every arrow of witchcraft. Arrow of disfavor. Arrow of hatred. Arrow of affliction. Fired against my destiny. Fired against my family. Arrow of failure. Fired against my children. Arrow of shame. Arrow of sickness. Fired against me, fired against my wife. Back fire, go back by fire, go back by fire in the name of Jesus. Locate your sender by fire in the name of Jesus. Lagadagaragado, son of Brigadaria, Ilado, the reason Kikata. Arrow of shame, arrow of reproach, arrow of lack. I am not your candidate. Go back by fire in Jesus' name. We pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Something happened yesterday. I got the news this morning. Those Fulani had me. They killed one of their own person. We are going to repeat the prayer today. We are going to command massacre angels. There are angels in the department of massacre. The sample is in Exodus chapter 12. In one night, angels invaded the camp of the Egyptians. And they were slaying them one after the other. One angel was sent to waste 184,000 persons in Syria. We are going to pray. Killer angels, massacre angels, invade the camp of the Fulani herdsmen. Let them begin to kill themselves. Angels of God use their own guns against them. Let them begin to kill themselves. Kill their sponsors. La Puja, Nerota. Killer angels. Massacre angels. In the name of Jesus Christ. Invade the camp of the Fulani herdsmen. Let them begin to kill themselves. This night invade their camp. Let them begin to kill themselves. The same way you set ambushments against the Amorites, against the Hivites, angels of God, killer angels, massacre angels, wherever the Fulani headsmen have been come to work havoc in Kadako, in Ibua, in Garaku, in Ayaragu. Wherever they are hiding, in Wamba, 
wherever they have been planted. Killer angels of God, massacre angels, invade their camp. Let them begin to kill themselves. Let them begin to kill themselves. Let their gun begin to trigger against themselves. La pura tonendo. Jekolaga ragada. Ezezele krutatolia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. God has had us. I pray for you. Whoever is hiding his identity and is sponsoring arrows against you, they will not escape the next 48 hours. Every arrow they have been shooting against you, let it backfire heavily against themselves. Any man digging a pit for you, let them fall into the very pit. Any man or woman that's working with witchcraft to see how you will go down, to see how you will be disgraced, let their mischief fall against their own head. If you are not saying amen, I pray for you. The blessing they vowed you will not get by divine urgency. That blessing will locate you speedily. If you are saying amen, say a good amen. As you partake of this communion, whatever God has not designed for you that is manipulating issues in your life, let them be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. As this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, wherever arrows are designed against you, let it go back and locate the enchanter. Say a good amen. 2018. February 2018. No enchantment will come to pass in your life. You will not know reproach in the name of Jesus. Any hammer digging a pit for you. Let him and his entire family fall into the very pit in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is walking into this church hiding their identity, planning with witchcraft to see how you will be disgraced. I decree, let the shame they are planning for you go back to their own family. Let the evil they desire for you visit them and their own family. If you are not saying amen, you are in trouble. As you partake of this communion, whatever look like a handwriting of wickedness, in and around your life. I decree, let them be deleted in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done.